Hi lovelies, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chisum. If you're new here, welcome to this channel. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification bell so you get notified anytime I post a new video. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for always stopping by. So a few days ago, I posted a video about how to draft a pattern for a bomber jacket. So this video is going to be the sewing version of it. Okay, I'm going to show you how to cut and sew your bomber jacket. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So here I have with me my fabric which is about 3 yards. I have my lining which is also about 3 yards. Um, you can use any color of your choice. For mine, I love to use brightly colored linings for my bomber jacket. Next is my cloth gum or my feasible interface. This is optional, guys. This is optional, but it's highly recommended. So this cloth gum has two sides. One side is rough and the other side is smooth. So it's the rough side that I'm going to iron to my fabric. So next is my ribbing fabric, also known as bomber band. So this I have about two pieces of it and I'm going to attach it to the neckline, my cuff and then the lower part of my bomber jacket. Here I have my zipper as well and I recommend you get a zipper that is um, that you can open up all the way just like you, you, you just like you can see mine and then I also recommend you get a zipper that is way longer than the actual size of your bomber jacket and then I have my scissors my pins and then I also have my pattern so I'm going to use this pattern to cut the fabric the lining and also the interface so I've gone ahead to cut my lining my fabric and then the interface i also went ahead to iron my interface to the fabric so the next thing i'm going to do is to join the front and the back so i'm going to join the front and the back of the fabric i also do that on the lining so to join the front and the back i'm going to place the back to the front or the front to the back I'm going to place it in this way and I'll hold it by, I'm going to sew it by half of an inch on the shoulder and then one inch on the side because I added one inch for the sewing allowance on the side. So if you added two inches or 1.5 inch, just mark the allowance that you added by the side and then you go ahead to sew it. I'll do this on the fabric and also the lining. So I'm going to do this separately. So I've gone ahead to join the sides and then on the shoulder parts, I, I went ahead to iron it flat like this. I also did that on my lining. And I also um, went ahead to iron the whole um, clothes as well. I love to iron as I sew, so I end up getting a clean finishing. So I also joined the sleeves as well. So the next thing I'm going to do is to attach my, my zip to my to the fabric so what i did was that i went ahead to mark out my zipper allowance the zipper allowance i added here was two inches so i went ahead to mark out the zipper allowance and then i decided to separate the zip into two so that for it so that it would be easier for me to fix so after separating it i'll go ahead and fix one part of the zip to to the to one part of the the front and then the second the second part of the zip i'm going to fix is the second part of the of the jacket and mind you remember we 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 gave about half of an inch space on the lower parts of our front jacket so i'm going to give that space before 
um, sewing my zip just like you see me doing so while sewing your zip you're going to you know sew it as close as possible just to give it that clean finishing so I've gone ahead to attach one part of the zip and I also do that for the second one you can decide to top stitch it so here I'm attaching my second zipper and I went ahead to join them together So yeah, I've joined my, I've, I've attached my zipper and see how beautiful it looks. So the next thing is to attach my ribbon to my sleeve. So to attach the ribbon to your sleeve, you're going to measure the your wrist. You're going to measure your, the roundness of your wrist and then you're going to use the measurements and cut and cut um, the ribbon fabric. So here I have about 6 inches for the wideness and then I'm going to go ahead and then join it together by half of an inch. So I have two pieces of this for my two sleeves. So I'm just going to join the side like this and then I'll go ahead to turn it over. You're going to see how I'm going to turn it over. My intention is to have a very clean work after sewing this bomber jacket in a way that both the outer part of it and the inner part will be looking so clean. There will be no rough edges or, or anything of such. It's going to be very, very clean. So this is how I'm going to turn it over. So like I said, I'm going to have two pieces of this for the both for the two sleeves. So to attach my ribbon to my sleeve, I'm going to place, I'm going to insert the ribbon into the sleeve in this way. And I'll make sure that the side that I joined, the side that I joined on the ribbon is facing the side that is joined on the fabric. Just like you see me doing guys. So after doing this, you can decide to hold it with a pin. And then the next thing I'm going to do is to turn my lining to the wrong, right side, turn it, flip it over to the right side, and then I'm going to insert the lining into the fabric this way. I'm just going to pass it through that way and then I will bring it out from the opening. So to bring it out, it's also going to pass through that ribbon that I have inserted into the sleeve. So after passing it out, you're going to find that, that you find that, that um, um, it's going to be in this order. You're going to have your, your lining, your ribbon, and then the fabric so I'm just going to hold this into place you make sure that the sides that you joined are all facing each other you know they are all on the same side I'm going to place it on my sewing machine and then I'm going to sew it by half of an inch all round and as I'm sewing it I'm, I'll be dragging the ribbon
so to do this process you are going to take it gently there should be no rush so that you you will get a good and clean finishing afterwards just take your time and you get a very clean work so as you can see as I'm sewing it I am dragging the the ribbon So I will do this for both sleeves. So after that, um, to pull it out, I'm going to pull out the, the lining this way. Guys, you can see how beautiful it looks already. And then I'll insert my hand into the fabric and then pull out, pull in the lining. So after this you find out that even when you turn it to the lining side you see that it's still very very clean like there is no rough edges you know everything is well covered up and that is how it's going to be for the main the main jacket See how beautiful and clean it looks. I've also done the second sleeve. I did it off camera. And this is it for our sleeves. So the next thing I'm going to do is to attach my lining to the main fabric. And to do this, I'm also going to cover up the, the zip part. So to attach my lining, I'm going to make sure that the wrong sides are facing each other. In a way that even when you flip it, when you flip it, you find out that the right sides are facing each other. So the right side should be facing each other and the wrong side facing each other. So when, while joining it, the wrong side should be facing each other so that after sewing it, when you flip it over, you see that the right sides are all beautiful. So to cover up the zipper area, I believe you can see what I'm doing. So while I flipped it, I went ahead to make sure that the right side are facing each other. That is how you know that you are on the right track. So I'm going to go ahead and place this on my sewing machine and then I'll sew it 
along that way straight down just that same that same line that I I you know attached my zipper so I'm going to sew it on that straight line down downwards And making sure that the fabric align at every given point. So here as you can see how beautiful it looks already both the front and the back so I'm going to go ahead and also uh, cover up the other zipper and that is it and that is how to attach the lining to the fabric so I also check if the right side are facing each other and I go ahead to sew it straight down just like, like I did on the other side So guys, this is the finished look to attach the lining to the fabric. So as you can see, both the inside and the outside is looking very, very clean. So the next thing I'm going to do is to attach the ribbon to the neckline. But to do this, I'm going to measure round my neckline. And I'm going to measure it round and I'll use the measurement to cut out the ribbon. So, but for this neckline, I'm not going to cut out the exact measurement that I get on the neckline. So after taking the measurements, I got about 19 inches for my neckline. And what I did was that I minus 2 inches from that 19 inches, making it 17. So the ribbon was 17 inches long. So what you do is just minus about 2 to 3 inches from your actual measurements, though depending on how stretchy your ribbon fabric is but at least two inches you minus two inches and then i'm going to go ahead to shape the sides if you've seen a bomber jacket you know that the neckline the the edges at the neckline is somehow a little bit curvy so that is what I'm trying to create here. So I marked about one inch 
inwards and I'm just going to go ahead and cut it in a curvy or slanty form just like you see me doing I'm going to do do that for both both edges And then I'm going to go ahead and attach my ribbon to the neckline. And so to do this, I turned the fabric this way, just like you see it. The wrong side is facing me and the right sides are facing each other. So what I'm going to do is that on that the space between the lining and the fabric, I'm going to insert my ribbon in there. So I recommend you pin it first. You're going to pin it by half of an inch all round and then you sew it or you can just be sewing along, just be sewing as you go you don't need to but if you are probably just doing it for the first time i recommend you you know pin it down before taking it to your sewing machine to to sew it so i'm going to sew it by half of an inch Just like you see me doing, you so see it's half of an inch all the way round. So yeah, and I'm done sewing it. I'm going to go ahead and cut out the remaining zipper before turning it before turning it over. So guys, can you see? And at the end of everything, you find out that there is no rough edges. You know, all the rough seams are both are all inside. And that is it for the neckline. So the next thing is to attach the ribbon to the lower part of our jacket. And to do this, I'm going to measure round the jacket. So and to measure this, as after measuring it, uh, remember we left about half of an inch on the lower part. So I'm going to go ahead and cover this up and I'm going to sew it by half of an inch. I turned it over to the, I turned the, um, my fabric to the wrong side and then I'm sewing it by half of an inch. So to cut the ribbon for the lower part of our jacket, after measuring uh, mine, I got 49 inches, but I'm not going to cut the 49 inches. I'm going to minus about 10 or 15 inches, right? For mine, I minus 10 inches. So the, the actual length that I, that I have here is 39 inches. Like I said, after measuring, I got 49. 
So 49 minus 10 is 39. So you can minus 10 inches or 15 inches depending on how you want yours to be. So and to attach my ribbon to the lower part, this is how I'm just going to do it. Pay more attention to the video and you, you will see how it is done. So on one end I'm going to attach it this way and then I will sew it along and I will sew it to that 2.5 inches that we marked and when I get there I'm just going to you know um, hold it on the sewing machine and drag the ribbon to the, the other end. So yeah, I've gotten to the 2.5 inches and I'm just going to drag it this way. So after doing this for this end, I'll also go ahead and do it for the other end before um, sewing it all along. And as I'm sewing this ribbon into the fabric, I am dragging it along and after sewing you find out that you have tiny tiny pleats which is actually the beauty of a bomber jacket So like I said while attaching my my neck the, the while attaching the ribbon to the neck you should be dragging it now I'm going to fix my sleeve so to fix the sleeve I'm going to attach the fabric first right I'm going to you know sew the fabric first before um, going to cover it up with 
my lining. So I'm going to go ahead and sew it by half an inch all round my armhole. So like like you, like you see me doing, I'm just attaching just the fabric. And then I'm going to go ahead and then um, join the lining of the sleeve to, to the armhole of like i'm going to join the linings now so and that is it for a bomber jacket that's basically so after joining the this the your lining you find out that you know you'll be locked up like you wouldn't have a space to turn it over to the right side so you can actually leave a little space on the armhole and then when you turn it to the right side you can cover it up and that is basically how to make your bomber jacket so guys if you learned something new from this video or you're just learning how to make a bomber jacket kindly leave a comment um kindly leave a comment for me in the comment section i'd like to read from you thank you so much for watching and thank you for stopping by see you on my next video Bye.